there's probably not a one of us that hasn't said, I'm glad I don't have to grow up in today's world. The challenges faced by adolescents when dealing with technology, relationships, permissiveness of a culture, and comparative mindset that social networking brings is also a challenge for parents as well. Teen suicide is up, drug overdose incidence is alarming, kids are leaving the church at high rates, and the words depression, anxiety, and cutting have become normal norm vocabulary. Not to mention, the teen world can become pretty dark quickly and parents are just as confused as they wonder with fear how to parent in a way that keeps life and light into the darkness that has entered their family. Teens are struggling, and parents are searching for help. I knew my son needed some help, but I didn't know how to help him. When you have a kid who's struggling, they're, they're not the only ones that are struggling. Everybody's, everybody's struggling. I thought I was capable as a dad to get him tracking. I just pray to God every day that I would go in and shoot you would wake up. Our whole family was in crisis mode. I really thought that um, if we didn't do something drastic, he was going to be dead. I really didn't think he was going to make it. It's into that darkness that Heartlight and Parenting Today's Teens strives to bring light and life to parents and teens that will encourage an atmosphere of relationships that will help a teen get to where he wants to go and keep them from ending up where they don't want to be. Started 33 years ago, Heartlight, a residential counseling center in Longview, Texas, offered a haven of hope for teens struggling through difficulties in their life. It's from that effort, Heartlight began offering wisdom through mediums that offered hope to parents and teens in that broken world. The Heartlight Residential Program in East Texas has the capacity of 60 guys and gals and receives over 7,500 requests a year for admission. It's a beautiful facility with an excellent program that has worked with over 3,000 teens since its beginning in 1988. Heartlight continues to be the country's leading residential treatment center for struggling teens, a haven of hope for families that are fearful for their teens. Little did anyone know that the wisdom being gathered from working with so many teens and families in a residential setting would become applicable for teens nationwide books were written and small group curriculum series were developed to help parents understand today's teen culture and give them practical and proven advice that would allow a parent to remain engaged with their teen at the time they need it the most. Now over 20 books have been written and numerous parenting curriculums have been developed and sold in over 52 countries. Over 500,000 people will tune in, listen, be present, or watch Heartlight founder Mark Gregston as he shares his wit and wisdom to audiences across North America. He spends most weekends on the road, helping parents keep from having to send their kids to Heartlight. The Parenting Today's Teens award-winning radio program began 15 years ago on just a few stations, and then it exploded in its expansion and now can be heard on over 1,800 stations across North America. Parents can access all of the Parenting Today's Teens radio, podcasts, parenting blog, and archived articles on the Parenting Today's Teens app, making all of the parenting resources just a touch away. Launched in the spring of 2020, the Heartlight Stories YouTube channel is filmed, edited, and produced by Alan Carter, the director of NBC's hit music reality TV show, The Voice. Alan captures Mark's interviews of teens that give perspective on their struggles and how parents would connect better with their children. 50 videos have been produced this past year, with thousands of views by parents hoping to gain insight into the world of teens. The Help and Hope Parenting Newsletter is read by hundreds of thousands and is chocked full of articles, teaching videos, parenting resource offerings, and a schedule of upcoming events and conferences. Released twice a week, this newsletter is second to none in offering wise, practical advice to parents raising their teens in this contrary adolescent culture. The Pandemic Creativity opened the door for the expansion of the Families in Crisis Conference to Zoom averaging 200 people at each monthly three-night event. Over the last year, over 1,200 people who would have never been able to attend this conference at Heartlight have participated in the Zoom conferences. The Families in Crisis conferences held at the Heartlight facility five times a year have been one of the greatest outreaches of parenting today's teens. 
These on-property events have attracted hundreds from every state in the U.S. and Canada for a three-day period and have changed the lives of countless numbers of families. The idea of going digital and having a TV program that shares stories of hope through the medium of TV was put on hold the very day the first pilot episode was completed because of the world shutdown because of the pandemic. It is our hope to create a new medium of communication through filming the stories of hope that have come out of all of our efforts to help families and teens. The stories of our families work because they speak to the heart and not just the mind, and are the best way to help people take in a message of understanding. We have yet to see what this at-risk program will look like and still have to decide what medium to share those stories on. But we do know that our storytelling is the most effective way to encourage parents and give them a sense of hope in the midst of their struggles with their teens. The new Parenting Today's Teens podcast was released in July of 2020. The new format allows for a five-day week release that includes repurposed radio broadcasts, a question and answer time with Mark Gregston, a Parenting Today's Teens devotion, and a day devoted to the interviews with teens. Since its beginning last year, over 300 episodes have been streamed to over 40 countries, with this new medium increasing at a rate of over 60,000 new downloads a month. There is a light in the darkness of raising teens in a sometimes challenging and perplexing world. And thanks to Heartlight and Parenting Today's Teens, teens' lives are now more than a statistic, and parents are equipped to handle the adolescent challenges facing their family. God was using Austin's issues to get to me. That relationship so much that we wanted to have with our daughter, the same relationship God wanted to have with us. God chose to save me through my son and then save my son through me. I can't believe that he went to this much trouble. All I could do is pray, we're gonna get there. And that day when it came was glorious. I would not be here if it wasn't for Heartlight. The child that I brought to Heartlight is not the child I brought home. We thought we were alone on this path and we weren't. And we were surrounded with other families who were in the same place we were. Now, my relationship with my dad is probably one of the best relationships I have in my life. Just because you go to Heartlight doesn't mean your kid's gonna be fixed. That's not what Heartlight does. It doesn't fix your kid. It gives your kids and the parents the tools that they need to make it through life. I think dropping off was the toughest day of my life, and this was the happiest day of my life.